Hi and welcome to this video on epithelial tissues. This video is the first of two. It will cover just the simple epithelial tissues themselves. The next video will cover the stratified epithelial tissues. A couple things to note before we get started is there is often labels as you see here within the slides themselves pointing out what you are trying to look at indicated by these yellow arrows. At the bottom we have the description of what you're looking at, where it's found, and at what objective magnification. Please note that this is just the objective not the total magnification. If you wanted to find the total magnification you'd have to take that times 10x. Now here we have a slide at 40x objective of simple epithelium in the lung. A couple things to note. When you are looking for epithelial tissue, this is lining tissue that has very little matrix outside of the cell. So you won't see much or any vascular tissue such as blood vessels within it. You are going to be looking for the lumens such as you see here, a lumen is an open space within the tissue slide or at the edges of the slide itself. You will find that epithelial tissue in either of those two places. On this first slide, we can see that we have epithelial tissues. These are simple epithelial cells indicated by the arrows and it is in fact lining a lumen indicated by the X. These epithelial cells aren't the typical shape of epithelial cells that, that are pointed out, but we can see more here and here and there. Those are all epithelial cells. Here is the same tissue at 100x objective, which is the oil immersion objective. Here are the cells that were pointed out earlier, the simple epithelial cells. These are the rounded ones. We can also see at the bottom the squamous type cells as well. Here is a slide showing simple cuboidal epithelium from the kidney with the low power or 10x objective. They are shown by the circles. We can see the lumen on the inside and we can see the clearly defined cube shaped cells within each. Let's take a, a slightly closer look. Here is a 40x objective view of the same tissue in the kidney. Here is the lumen indicated by the X and here is your simple cuboidal epithelial cells. We can clearly see each of the plasma membranes between the cells. We can also see the basal side which is this side and the apical side which is that side. The basal side is the side in which the tissues attach to the underlying tissues around it and the apical side is the free side or the side next to the lumen. Here is a 100x view of the same cells. Here are their nuclei, right here. And here are their plasma membranes between each. One thing to keep in mind is that as you are using the microscope to find these, and if you're not sure whether they are clearly separated with the plasma membranes, what you can do is to use the fine focus on the microscope and ever so slightly adjust it up and down and as you do you're, uh, you are adjusting through the depth of field of the tissue and it will help you to see the plasma membrane between the cells themselves. Here is a slide showing simple columnar epithelial from the intestine at a 10x 
objective. The columnar shells are shown by the yellow arrows. We can see those here and here, all the way along the edge of this tissue. Each of these clear spots or more translucent spots are in fact something called goblet cells. And these goblet cells produce mucus. And it's this mucus that is secreted on top of the columnar cells. Let's take a slightly closer look. Here is a 40x view of those cells, same cells, with the goblet cell clearly indicated along with the columnar cells. One thing to note in columnar cells, it can sometimes be difficult to see the plasma membranes if you adjust the fine focus up and down ever so slightly, it will help you to see those plasma membranes. Let's take a closer look. Here is a 100x view of the same cells. Here is our goblet cell indicated by the yellow arrow. Here is our columnar cells. We can see a little bit better by these clear areas. The cell membranes. Each of these dark areas is in fact the nucleus of those cells indicated by the ends.